hello everyone so today in this video i i plan to teach you stafford gambit so already in the previous video i taught you stafford gambit uh, and i taught the uh, trap number one which is what we need to do if white plays d3 next bishop g4 so today in this video i'm gonna teach you uh, how to do a stafford gambit if white responds instead of d3 and bishop g4 uh, what if the white plays knight c3 and bishop c4 so today in this video we are going to see how to respond uh, if white plays if white plays uh, knight c3 and bishop g4 so let's get started so before we uh, are uh, getting into the video so i plan to teach you uh, uh, some basic traps in the Stafford game. Let's get started. So e4, e5, knight f3, knight to f6. So this is Petrov. As I told you in the, my previous trap video, this is Petrov defense. This is Petrov defense. So we are going to see uh, Stafford Gambit, which is a sideline in Petrov defense. So after knight f6. So here the most common move played by the white is to take the pawn on e5. So this is the main line in the Petrov defense. But in Petrov defense they will play d6. But in Stafford Gambit instead of uh, d6 we are gonna play knight c6. So knight c6 the thematic move in the Stafford Gambit. After knight c6 here white is gonna take the knight. Here white is gonna take the knight. So, I wanted to show the variation if instead of uh, black doing knight c6, let's take, let's assume, so you don't know the Stafford Gambit. So, if you if you don't know the Stafford Gambit in a proper way, let's assume that you uh, learned an improper Stafford Gambit. So, if you learn an improper Stafford Gambit and you are accidentally going for capturing the pawn on e4, you are falling under a trap. The trap is, is that here white will play queen e2. After queen e2, if you try to protect the knight by playing d5, this is too late. Because you can't protect this knight. For example, let's say uh, after d5, white plays d3. After that, if you bring the knight to f6. So here, uh, pause my video. So pause my video and think in this position, white to play and you have to win the queen the tactic exists in this video is called as discovered attack over the king when you do a discovered attack over the king that is called as discovered check that is called as discovered check so the discovered check arises by knight c6 which is a discovered check over the king the queen is the main piece which attacking the king so you can't capture this knight you uh, listen carefully listen carefully you can't capture the knight on c6 because the queen is attacking the king let's assume that you have two options you have two ways to lose the queen here uh, let's take if you play bishop to e7 you can lose the queen or if you play queen to e7 you lose the queen so these are the two options that is available for you so let's say let's say if you play bishop e7 or queen e7 whatever you play you lose the queen so this is the one trap in stafford so this is a basic trap in Stafford Gambit. Today we can see the main trap. Main trap. So knight c6, knight into c6, d into c6. So here, if if white plays knight c3. So today we are going to see the trap in knight c3. If white plays knight c3, you immediately play bishop c5. You should not forget the move of bishop c5. You immediately play the move bishop c5. After bishop c5, here. White is gonna play bishop c4 because we are going to see the trap. What happens if the white plays bishop c4? After bishop c4, here we are going to play the thematic move in the Stafford Gambit. Another thematic move in the Stafford Gambit. Whatever white play, you play knight g4. Knight g4. Knight g4 is one of the most important move in the Stafford Gambit. By playing knight g4, actually we are threatening a fork on uh, queen and the rook. The idea is to uh, threaten for knight into f2 if white allows knight into f2 let's say if white plays f3 here they are officially allowing for uh, they are officially allowing for a fork this is a fork they are already losing it, in this position it's completely losing for white so let's take for example if white plays something like um, 
what we can say so here the most common move played by the white is to play d4 will not work d4 for sure will not work if you play d4 you lose the pawn so queen e2 will not work because bishop and knight when you combine you get 6 point but queen worth 9 point so this exchange will uh, this exchange will be a loss for the white because knight uh, plus uh, bishop is 6 point queen plus and the f2 pawn is equal to 10 points so you are losing 4 points so after knight g4 uh, white has uh, only good way uh, it's not a good way this is the only way so let's take if white do castling so actually this castling itself a blender so this castling itself a blender whenever in this position why do a castling you bring the queen immediately to the h4 you bring the queen immediately to the h4 now after playing queen h4 actually you are threatening for a checkmate in one so white don't have any option so see let's see knight attacks the h2 pawn queen also attacks the h2 pawn so you are officially threatening for a checkmate here oh, you are officially threatening for a checkmate and you are forcing the white to play h3 here so if white plays h3 here you immediately play h5 immediately play h5 no no h5 is wrong so here you play knight into f h5 is wrong knight into f after knight into f2, if white takes the rook, you take the rook with the queen. You take the rook with the queen. Uh, after this move, the king will go to h1. h1 or h2, whatever uh, whatever thing. Okay, whatever, wherever they go. After this, after in this position, if you have good knowledge about the end game, if you have good knowledge about the end game, it is easy winning for the black. Because black is uh, upper exchange. Upper exchange means... Uh, for example, uh, two bishops for a two bishops. So black has two bishops, white has two bishops. For a knight, you have a full rook. Knight worth three point, rook worth five point. So after this move, black is completely comfortable. You can either play, uh, you can castle here. You can castle and you can uh, play a normal chess. After in this position, you can play a normal chess. So here uh, we have famous traps here. For example, let's say white playing queen f3 if white plays queen f3 you can do some fantastic attacks you can do some fantastic attack in this position let's say uh, after queen f3 you can play knight into h3 after queen f3 you can play knight into h3 this is a double check this knight and bishop both are attacking the king you are doing a double check plus you are giving a discover check over the king now you are officially forcing the white king to go either h1 or h2 we can see the both the variation first we can see what if white plays king h1 if white plays king h1 this is a checkmate into this is very simple knight f2 double check king to g1 queen h1 is a checkmate so if we can see what if the white plays what if the white plays king to h2 instead of king h1 if white plays king h2 you you can do the same idea you can do the same idea knight f2 discovered check knight f2 discovered check so if they repeat this thing you can do the same thing or else uh, for king h2 you can play queen to g5 queen g5 Queen g5 is completely fine. So here, uh, white should play queen h3. They, they don't have any option. They don't have any option. So if they play queen f3, they are losing the queen. They are losing the queen with no compensation. You can play here. You, you can Here you can play bishop e6 check. After that, uh, I think they don't have any option. They, they want to lose the queen. Uh, let's say if they play something like uh, pawn to g3, they lose the whole queen. So they, uh, they try to save the queen by playing king to h1 after that you can capture this queen with the anything or uh, you can capture the queen with the light square bishop or with the knight let's say you are capturing the uh, queen with the knight it looks forcing right so after that uh, the only uh, possible move for the white is to play king h1 or to take the knight if they take the knight i think uh, it's a easy mate 
this is it easy mating variation so let's say we can play forcing moves so after this this is check this is officially check so after this uh, this is a checkmate into you know king g3 check king to h1 queen h2 is a checkmate like this you have plenty of combination in this position like this you have plenty of numerous combinations here so i have only shown a few combinations here so if you want to improve your stafford gambit as a black i am suggesting every viewers of my channel to try stafford gambit as a black against the white if white plays e4 e4 so i i think i have explained all the traps in knight c3 and bishop c4 line in the uh, stafford gambit if white plays knight c3 and bishop c4 this is how you need to respond when you do stafford gambit as a black so i hope everyone enjoyed my video if you like my vi video please share and subscribe thank you